Greetings, adventurers, explorers, and investigators. Welcome to another shopkeeper adventure. Today we are going to be installing a 70-inch television uh, into our store's front window there. So we're mounting the TV on the inside of the building. And uh, when we roll up that metal gate that's on the outside of the window, people will be able to watch uh, advertisements and videos and YouTube things that we do uh, so different promotional uh, materials things along that line as many people know uh, we have had uh, a change at our store where we had a uh, 800 square foot game room in the back we did lease that back area out to help create a passive income for the store to help us uh, keep moving forward but in doing so, we had to pull all the stuff out of that back room and we've been trying to fit it into the, our front room. So th this is our actual game room now. So we've brought a, th a thousand square feet of stuff into our building that we already had all set up. But today we're going to go through that process and we're going to show everybody uh, the in installation process. So right now what I'm doing is I'm putting in a couple of set screws so that I'll be able to just uh, lift that little frame up and then we're going to mount that frame down to the cabinetry. The cabinetry is already mounted to the wall including the uh, slat board on the right side there with all the pencils and art stuff. So that's already been mounted to the wall so now we're just setting this up and we're going to mount this frame. So basically it's a frame that we're going to mount in first and then there's going to be a second frame that will go inside that frame. Uh, we are actually using uh, recycled materials from the back room. So you'll see some of my wood has a little bit of a personality, but that is okay. So we are going to um, use wood and just cut it, make it and make it all fit. Uh, we've actually already done that process and now we've assembled everything and now we're just putting it up into the window. One of the challenges, of course, the telev television is 70 inches, but it is an older 70 inch LCD. Uh, fortunately, it's not a plasma TV for anybody that remembers those, but this TV will still weigh about 60, 65 pounds. We will be using a Sonus mount, uh, a commercial mount made for being inside commercial facilities. It's gonna be what we call articulating. So you can actually stretch the TV out, the frame of it, and then you can actually turn the TV and do all kinds of really, it's a full motion mount, so you can move it all over the place. And um, so we've had this mount forever and that's what we used in our back room. So now we're gonna move everything to the front room. So right now what I'm doing is I'm making sure everything's straight and even. I'm just using some long drywall nails, screws, to uh, set everything in place. I do go back and add bolts, so I will add some uh, quarter inch bolts on both sides uh, to make sure it's all held together, but I wanted to get everything in place for right now, get it all framed up. One of the funny things was, is, uh, as I was getting ready to mount this frame, if you look at it compared to the window, um, yeah, it looks like it's looks like my frame is off about three quarters of an inch. Uh, funny part is that actually the window is off by three quarters of an inch. My frame is actually level. So uh, I had to decide at the moment whether I wanted to make my frame level with the window or if I actually just wanted to make it level. I opted to make it level because all the stuff on the inside is level. So uh, that's where we are at. So I put my screws in. Uh, it's all set up, the frame's ready to go. So we're going to do a few more things to it. Um, first of all, I want to put a bracket onto it to kind of put it right under the uh, slat board there to give it a little more sturdiness on this side of it. I do go back 
after everything's installed, I do put a bracket. I was trying not to screw into the actual building. Um, I've already done that a lot. And uh, so I was hoping to be able to just to go into the uh, bookshelves and stuff like that and just have them do support the TV. Um, but I, so I do put this one bracket on and then I did put on another bracket that actually mounts into the, the building there uh, to make sure that everything's steady. So there's the second frame and you can see it's recycled wood there. So we pulled that out of the back and we're reusing it. Had to make sure it fit. Always test everything before you do something. I did decide that we needed to put a little 45 degree brackets on the bottom. Uh, the TV, so the TV like I mentioned is about 60-65 pounds. The bracket probably, the amount is probably 25 pounds. Uh, the wood frame that it's going into is probably going to be about 15-20 pounds. So it's going to be about 100 pounds uh, resting within this frame. And so I wanted to make sure that uh, it's definitely safe and secure. Uh, in the end, uh, there, you'll see what we do at the end. We're going to rehang up our cloaks and our different uh, chamises and stuff like that for Renaissance Fair and for Halloween wear. So there's a bar at the very top there that's actually for hanging clothes. So it'll cover up most of the stuff from this side, this view. Uh, I did go back afterwards uh, a couple days later and I added uh, some uh, hospital grade fire retardant uh, curtains to uh, separate the TV from the clothes and block any uh, light coming into the uh, store. So I try not to let uh, too much natural light uh, hit clothing. Obviously, we don't want to have fading spots and things like that. But in the meantime, I decided to add a couple extra brackets there to make sure that the frame is sturdy and it's going to be able to support the weight of the TV in that frame. So we almost got that done. The whole time I'm doing this, I'm really curious if this is going to work out. Uh, it's a kind of crazy plan, crazy idea. We had to put this TV someplace. So uh, in the end, it seemed like a really good idea. So the uh, two boards that you see there, is, they're uh, one inch uh, boards. They're pretty heavy duty, pretty thick, really strong. Uh, same thing, this is also repurposed. This was from a digital table that we had. So those were, that was a, a leaf that a uh, table leaf that actually hinged upward and became part of the table if you needed more space at the table. So we cut that and now we're uh, screwing it onto this board here. So same process, I'm using smaller screws to set it in place and make sure it doesn't move around. Uh, once this is done, I will use uh, self-tapping uh, lag screws to make sure that this part is gonna be strong. This is the boards that will be actually mounting the mount onto so we want to make sure that this is super duper strong super well in there and uh, so these lags are designed to make sure that happens we'll be putting four on each board so that will be well overstated we thought we could run advertisement on this TV uh, as, as a game store and as a business um, we're in a little bit of an isolated area, so we try to promote ourselves every way we can. Uh, this also gives me an opportunity to help promote the business that leased the back room. So this will give us that opportunity. Obviously, if they do well, then you know that only benefits us as well. So we definitely want to work together and make sure everything, all of us, achieve our goals. So we're using these self-tapping lags, screwing them into place. And then I will also be putting in two little screws so I know exactly where I want to put that mount. It has to be in a certain location. So these two little screws that I put in will allow me just to set the uh, mount right onto those screws. So that'll give me a chance to actually uh, mount the mount, run the bolts through. So I use lags on the, the wood plate to mount it to the frame. In this case, I'm gonna actually run bolts all the way through both the mount and those wood panels. The mount's really neat, like I mentioned. So the, the whole thing, it slides to the right and left. It articulates outward. Uh, you can actually turn the TV on its side. 
So all kinds of neat things, but very heavy mount, very heavy duty. And obviously in a business, do you want to make sure you take any precaution to make sure you keep your customers safe? But I am uh, drilling holes and then just putting a bolt through and then we'll tighten it up. So there'll be four of those. All right, easy, that looks fun. This whole time that I'm doing this, I am uh, thinking about lifting that TV. I know this is gonna be a pretty heavy rig. So hopefully all will go well. It'll be fun to put different YouTube videos and have them showing outside the building. So as our customers come up, they will be able to see them. We have uh, additional TVs inside the building that show our YouTube videos that we do to help promote our channel. There we go, last one. Excellent. And there you go, now we have to go grab a TV. There it is. So that is a sharp TV probably about eight years old nine years old uh, yeah probably about that might be older I think eight years old and uh, the bracket all you have to do is hook it onto the bracket but then there's this little itty pitty teeny tiny little set screw that holds it in from the bottom and so here I am looking around trying to figure out how am I gonna get that little tiny screw in there hmm this is gonna be something and then of course uh, the big uh, with the wood black panels that I mounted the mount into block exactly where my hand needs to go to uh, put that little tiny screw in <laughs> and it's tiny. So I decided, let, you know what, let's spin this guy around here. Let's see if that makes it any easier. And so we turn it around. Of course, that was my first experience, and I began to realize, hey, this is going to be a pretty heavy lift. So there we go. We can finally get down there, put that screw in. All right. Well, got to spin her around again, and then we'll have to do that, that lift. All right. I'm, I'm ready. I feel good about this. All right. You ready? All right. We got this. We got... Oh, oh, oh wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 we got it, we got it, no, wait, no, 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 wait, wait, ah, wait, 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 no, we got it, we got it, we got it. No, we're okay, we're fine, everything's fine. Oh, it's not going in, but we tested it. It went in before, it had to go, it has to go in now. <laughs> there we go, perfect. So the good part is, is that uh, the weight, because of the TV, the weight is on the front, not on the back, so it actually falls forward into the glass, but the glass is obviously super strong too. Um, so it falls forward instead of back. So uh, once I got it in there, not much. Look how happy I was. <laughs> yep, that's true. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. It's like what? All right. So now we're gonna make sure it's centered. He's gonna do some centering. Make sure it's completely spot on and ready to go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh huh. So now all we have to do is secure it inside the frame that we put in there. So that shouldn't be too bad. So we'll just put a few more screws in. And in the meantime, we're putting together some uh, little USB flash drives that we'll be able to plug into the TV. That'll have different videos that we wanna show each week. A little bit of advertisements and promotions. So I'm pre-drilling again. You'll see me do that a lot. I'll usually pre-drill the first piece of wood and then I'll let the screw go into the second piece of wood. Uh, makes it a whole lot easier and it gives me control over the mounting process. But uh, yeah, this allows me to just slip that screw up in there and then I just make sure it's exactly where I want. Takes a steady and there we go, perfect. All right, excellent. All right, we're gonna back it out just a little bit until we get the rest of the screws in. There we go. Get this 
second screw in there. And then we will put bolts into the top boards. So the top, that top board will get bolts uh, as well as screws. Uh, same thing again, we wanna make sure that things very secure, very in there. It's a pretty big TV, pretty heavy. But uh, yeah, wow, once I got it put into the frame, it was a big relief. I had no idea if I was gonna be able to do that lift or not. There we go, now we're gonna set it. So now the pre-drill, put the screw in. Make sure it's nice and straight and level. You'll see me, uh, you know, it's one thing to look at something to see if it's straight or level, but a lot of times you'll see me actually using my hands uh, to make, you know, my fingers are, you know, you get very used to figuring out if it's in the right spot or not. You can have your fingers are very sensitive. So uh, we, I use my hand more often than I use my eyes, which is probably a good thing. So now I'm just centering that mount because that mount slides around wonderfully. There's little set pins in it. So once I get it to where I want, tighten up the pins. TV's there. Going to push the TV up against the window. Make sure it's pretty level. Well, I think we're really close. Almost ready for a test run. Oh man. <laughs> oh, I have to put the bolts in. I forgot. Glad he remembered. So my drill bits were uh, getting a little dull at the end here. Had to force, do a little bit of forcing things. And as always, I'm trying to get this done before we open the store. This did take about an hour and a half to, to do completely. We'll put a couple of bolts in and uh, with washers, and that'll make it super strong. But obviously anytime you're you have your own business you know you look for every opportunity every method of making your stores or your business that much better and it's all about communicating with your customers and if you do a good job of that you'll often be successful we all know it's a very challenging world right now so you know obviously we're trying to do everything we can to keep moving forward there we go. Oops, a little bit of dust. Got to clean that up. Cleanliness is important. I love this little vacuum. There you go. Final touches. Perfect. Good. So I'll take those archery bows down there at the top there. Then I actually hang the curtains off of that off of, the, off of that rack, and then that. Those, uh, the piping that you see in front of the archery bows there, that thin piping, is what we hang our cloaks and stuff on, so it's a little higher up. There you go. I wonder how it looks. Ta-da, that's what it'll be like. Ta-da, see, fancy. All right, here's some images of the TV. So this is an up close if you're standing close to it and watching. I think it came out really good. This is on the outside of my building and you'll have a better picture of the outside in just a few seconds. These are some of our fun videos we've done. So this is what it looks like if you stand back a little bit go on the uh, sidewalk. Came out really good. Store looks fancy. Thank you kindly for watching. Keep an eye out for the next video. Super appreciate it. Have a great day.